Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Thursday, September 19th, 2024. Let's take a look at and see what we got for today. Alright, we got some good ones here. I have many videos on my channel that will help you guys out. I give you different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas that were there if you're a brand spanking new player to the game. You're a returning player, even if you're an experienced player, there's a particular deal. The weekly challenge is giving you a hard time or trouble. I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you. I try to keep my videos as updated as I possibly can. And of course, you guys are awesome. The great comments and tips, which are greatly appreciated. All right, so just an FYI, I am a little late to the video, making another video here today. Just worked a 12 hour day shift and I appreciate everyone's patience and support on these days and it'll be the same thing tomorrow friday saturday and sunday and again i appreciate everyone's support uh, i did re-roll one here uh, i did re-roll uh, complete a daily ops and i got this one here instead so just an fyi if you see one different than yours all right let's take a look at this one here first craft ammo at a workbench 50. so don't get this confused with collect ammo this one here we actually have to craft ammo at a workbench and of course that is the tinkers workbench let's go ahead and take a look at that now it's not real specific what type of ammo it can be energy energy ammo or ballistic ammo whatever you want to do let's go ahead and go craft okay right, so here's our energy ammo here down here or sorry this is our ballistic ammo here yeah right on jim yeah you're getting tired bud and then we have our energy ammo here, all right? Um, so we're going to take a look at this uh, ballistic ammo here first. These 45 rounds, so for 12, 45 rounds, 3 gunpowder, 4 lead, and 10 steel. Now there is a perk card that is going to help us out here anytime that when you're crafting ammo. It'll be under agility. It is called Ammo Smith. So even though you don't may not have a level 2, let's say you only have a level 1, definitely apply it. Right, so this level two, for example, produce 80% more rounds when crafting ammunition. And of course, anytime you are crafting anything, uh, there is a perk card under luck that'll help us out there as well. It's called Super Duper. Even if you don't have a level three, you just have a level level one or a level two, definitely apply it. It's only going to help you at the end of the day. This level three here, when you craft anything, there's a 30% chance you'll get double results. Let's go ahead and to apply that. Let's go back to our Tinker's Workbench and go craft. Let's go to our ballistic ammo. So as you can see, our 45 rounds. So instead of 12, we get 21. But we get the same amount of requirements. Three gunpowder, four lead, ten steel. And that is what the ammo smith does. All right, let's go ahead and craft two of them. And hopefully we... There we go. So there we go. We got 50 out of 50. And you hear that thunder lightning sound. That is the super duper. It kicked in for us. So we just got 54 out of 50. So pretty cool. Let's just show you how you can use perk cards to your advantage. Just don't forget to put your cards back. <laughs> As you guys know, I have a issue with that sometimes. Right, there we go. What's next here, Jim? Scrap junk to produce wood, 10. So I would say the best way to do this now, if you go around and you do collect uh, certain types of uh, weapons and certain type of armor, there might be some wood in it there, but the best way to do this is to go ahead and gather wood in around the wasteland if you don't have a whole lot. A real good spot to gather wood is, of course, anywhere in around the forest area, all the down trees. You come here to the wayward and you make your way down towards the flatwood area across the stream and you make your way back up the wayward again. You're going to have all kinds of wood. Another good spot is uh, right here in Halvasia. We have the yellow house on the corner. Nice little stockpile of wood there also. And of course, the best stockpile of wood is right up here at Prickett's Fort. That's probably the best way. Just go ahead and grab some scrap wood. And then what you can do once you have that scrap wood, you can use the bulk and scrap method. That here at the Tinker's Workbench. Let's go ahead and go craft. You go to bulk, go all the way to the bottom. Bulk wood so you can bulk one wood as long as you have two plastic and 30 wood scraps in your stash or scrap box that's why i mentioned to going in and collect some wood scraps from the down trees let's go ahead and bulk just one that's all that we need let's go ahead and back out let's scrap that bulk wood we just crafted here 
There we go. Scrap joint to produce wood. 10 for 10. Nice and easy. Super easy. Alright, what's next here, Jim? You look at this one here. Collect the stim packs or cams 5. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. If you have stim packs or you have Rad Away or Rad X on you, you can go ahead and go to your chemistry workstation and you can craft diluted versions of the stim pack Rad Away and Rad X, and that will also count by crafting the diluted versions. You guys have seen me do that before. Uh, I usually find cultists and blood eagles are a real good source of stim packs. Not every single one, but I'm sure if you go through a place like Pleasant Valley, sorry, not Pleasant Valley. Point Pleasant, where there's a lot of cultists, uh, you'll come across a lot of cultists that'll have all kinds of stim packs on them. And of course, we do have the medical dispensers. Of course, you'll be using caps to buy them, but you can find medical dispensers at every train station. You can find one down here, even at the trading post. One right here, the good old White Springs. We have one right over here at the Gilman Lumber Mill, just to name a few spots. Okay. Um, of course, uh, Radaway and Radax, which also included as chems, okay? Uh, ghouls. Ghouls are a good source of Radaway and Radax. Not every single one, but you can go after some ghouls, and some good spots for some ghouls is, of course, just west of Vault 76 in the upper lower parking lot. You have Alpine River Cabins. And we have the roads. The roads are right around Morgantown. Uh, usually, if you wander the roads, there'll be a patch of four to six ghouls every block. And you can get a good way to collect chems that way as well. Right, so we're actually going to make our way over here to the good old Gilman Lumber Mill, which is just south of Vault 76, which is a free fast travel. You make your way down there. We were here just yesterday. And uh, we'll see what's here. Usually there's a couple healing salts and some other chems here as well. And this is a nice, easy area. All right, so we got a uh, healing salve there. See, we have a stim pack. We have another healing salve there. There we go. Let's take a look around here. So let's check that box. Got those caps. Now there's a psycho that's usually in around the corner here, right here. There we go. Nice, nice. Excellent. Let's check these uh, first aid boxes here. Oh, we do have a blood pack there, so there we go. Just like that, collect chems. Step back to chems, five for five, done, just in this one nice little area. Perfect. We do have a medical dispenser here, just to give you an example. <laughs> See, there's nothing going to be in it. Okay. Now we got all kinds of stuff here, so just to kind of give you an idea of what that could be. All right? Gives you another option as well. All right, that was pretty easy. What's next here, Jim? Scrap a board game one. So I do have lots of older videos. When I first started making videos back in 2022, they're just standalone videos. They're only about, I would say, about a minute and a half long, not very long. And I have them all on a playlist. So if you're ever having trouble trying to find board games, you can check out that little playlist on my channel. The only thing that I get to warn you about is that you just gotta mind the audio. I am using my old equipment from way back in the day, so I wouldn't recommend you know using headphones. But uh, all those videos are still valid even today. All right, so we can find board games at many great spots. Right here, the Blue Ridge Bunkhouse is a pretty good spot. WV Lumber and Co. Right here in Fraternity Row, we have the Pi House and the Eta Psi House, those Fraternity Row houses there. And there's usually all kinds there. Right over here in Halvatia, we have the White House on the corner, just across from the Yellow House. And there's all kinds of board games upstairs. Uh, right over here, the Retreat, a uh, pretty good spot for some board games as well. And right down here in good old Summersville, as soon as you spawn in, the house that's on the right-hand side used to be full of Mylarks back in the day, but now there's probably about four or five ghouls. If you go to the back patio, there's a picnic table there, and there's usually three board games there. Being our hair in the forest, we're just going to pop up here to the Blue Ridge Bunkhouse. Let's pop over here. Another nice, neutral, easy spot, fairly close to Vault 76. 
to make your way inside here. We're gonna go right up these stairs. Right on this table right here, three board games. We're gonna grab the bottom one here. We're gonna go ahead and scrap it. Here's a Tinker's workbench. Let's go ahead and scrap it. Scrap that board game. There we go. Scrap a board game. One for one done. Just like that, guys. Just like that. Again, if you're having trouble, you can use those other suggestions, or you can check out those videos I made from back in the day. What's next here, Jim? Kill a canine fire, so many great spots we can find canines in around the wasteland. We have uh, probably about six mongrels up here at Erithold Homestead. Now, if you're lucky enough to get on a server and you see the event, uh, when you spawn in here at Tyler County Fairgrounds, it'll be called Leader of the Pack. There are three packs of wolves. And at the end of Leader of the Pack, there'll be a wolf horde. So there's all kinds of canines there. Uh, now, not just the typical canine, but also the mutant hounds. Mutant hounds, which we find around super mutants once in a while, are also considered canines. We can find mutant hounds here at Grafton. We can find six to 12 here at Grafton Steel. Pretty good spot. We can find one here at Grafton Dam. We can find quite a few of them here in Huntersville and quite a few here in West Tech Research Center. Now right here at Big Fred's Barbecue Shack, we can find four foxes here. Pretty good spot. Just to name a few spots where you can find different types of canines. Down here, Skyline Valley Region, of course, we have the Makeout Point. Now, 50% chance we'll come across some bugs, but other times it is some mongrels. There are some wolves. So just an FYI there. Seeing how we're up here in the forest, let's just pop up here to good old Aaron Holt Homestead and we'll take care of them up here. I got for a weapon here, right on. He's right behind me, sneaking up on me, eh? He said, he, I knew we were coming there, Jim. I was prepared for you, buds. There you go, five for five. There's usually one up here. Get the little crown on him there. Nice, nice little spot there. Sweet. As you can see, nice little area. Fairly easy mongrels to take care of. And there's usually three, actually, right when you spawn here at the Green Country Lodge. If you turn around, you'll make your way back to the Wayward. Usually just like, maybe like, I would say about 50 meters or so, there's three of them up there. Okay, what's next here, Jim? To the Scorched Ten, so all kinds of spots we can find Scorched in around the wasteland. Uh, we did have the Festa Scorched event probably about a month or two ago. And I take you to 23 locations on the map where you can find Scorched. So if you're brand new to the game and, you know, the places that you know of, everywhere you go, they're already killed because maybe you're only limited to public servers. You can still utilize that video, even though it's not Festive Scorch time or Spooky Scorch time. You can still use that video and you can go to those spots where uh, I take you for the Scorched. All right. But we all know about down here at the good old Camden Park. Good old Tyler County Fairgrounds. Baby Willard's Water Park. Palace of the Widening Path, just to name a few spots. Even down here through Somerville's Dam, Somerville's Docks. That's where we're going to head here today. Let's pop over here. I think I like about this spot here is they are kind of spread apart, so they're all not going to, uh, you know, get in your face, you know, like in other spots. So it's pretty good if you're uh, lower level. Again, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. Get him while we're here. Get him, get him, get him. Whiff, whiff, whiff. Hey, buds. What? 
<laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, there he's all it's all folded there. Nothing more satisfying than going to the wasteland and folding scorches, eh? Grown adult scorches just folding them. Love it. Lock and load you. You got one in the chamber and that's it, but get rid of that guy. Right away and right away diluted right there from that guy. A couple of gems there, nice. As you can see, like you know, you can just simply play the game, and it won't take you long doing dailies. And even if you're a person that doesn't do daily weekly challenges, you're you're doing them. <laughs> you're doing them. It's just the way it is, right? All right, so I think we need one or two more. So let's keep going down here towards the dam. dudes inside this building. Let's go ahead and take care of There's only four of them in here. Wish I had a grenade. That'd be perfect. Oh, yes. Oh, he's a smart one, isn't he? <laughs> Jeez, la la la. We're all sort of there, butts. Hmm? Nice. That's how easy that is, and there's all kinds of other guys just around the corner here. There, see them? Alright, we got one more left here. Sell a sweet roll to an NPC vendor once. We had this one probably about a month ago, and I had made a separate video on how you can craft your own sweet roll, and where you can find a, a free sweet roll you can check that video out if at the top right hand corner of the screen is going to be pinned you can get yourself a free sweet roll right down here in the skyline valley region at the trading post now once when you discover it it will be a free fast travel so let's pop down here now you can find anywhere from one to three Sweet rolls here for free. This right. Oh, we got three of them right here. Nice. Let's go ahead. We'll just take one. Okay, so we have our sweet rolls. So that's pretty cool. Now, if you come here and they are not here, and if you're on a public server, they just didn't spawn in for you, or somebody else already took them. So I would suggest you would just server hop a couple times, and they will eventually be here. Okay. I recommend just if, if there's a couple, just take one because you're only going to need one. Leave the other ones for other people. All right. Now that we have our sweet roll, as the daily says, sell the sweet roll to an NPC vendor. So any NPC vendor on the map, so that means any robot at any train station will do. Any robot vendor down here at the White Spring Mall. We have a robot vendor here in Flatwoods in the White Church. We have good old Duchess up here in the Wayward, and sometimes our camps will be visited by, um, well, <laughs> will be visited by traveling merchants or also considered NPC members. So let's pop over here to the Wayward here today. Do something a little bit different. I hope my controller isn't on its way out there. That was kind of weird. I've had this controller for a little while now, so there's a possibility. Right, let's go to good old Duchess here. Let's go ahead and trade. Let's go and sell this sweet roll to Duchess. There we go. Sell the sweet roll to an NPC vendor. One for one. Done. Just like that. Good old Duchess here always has a nice smile, eh? Always happy to see us. <laughs> you guys are like, okay, Jim, you've been up for too long. And it's time to go to bed, buds. <laughs> Losing my mind. And I think we're done. Let's take a look here. We are done just like that, guys. Easy one here today. 
Again, it'll be the same thing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The videos will be out just a little bit later than usual. Pretty busy at work with a 12-hour shift, so there you guys go. So just in case you guys are wondering, because I know I'm going to be asked, the outfit I'm wearing, it is the Blue Ridge Scout outfit. A Blue Ridge Scout helmet and a blue bedin. Just an FYI. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share. Any the chance, it really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffin, Heather, White Tribe, Rob Go, Mr. Shelton, Drake Stamps, Mr. Prince, not me, but me, yes, me, that's me. G33K, thank you all so very much. And I hope you all have a nice day.